Hello friends, hope you're doing great today. So I'm back with my another video on product catalogs in Dynamics CR. And in here we would be discussing how, what and when. So what is the importance of product catalog in Dynamics CRM? How to configure it and when to use it? So first of all, I would like to clarify with you all that CRM is not an inventory management application. So there has been always a question like let's say I will I be able to track what quantity I store or what quantity is available in my warehouse in Dynamics CRM. That is not possible at all in Dynamics CRM. Reason it's not an inventory management system. It's more of a customer relationship application. Now let's discuss it from a perspective of a real time scenario. Let's say you are setting up an organization or you are starting a new organization or a new implementation in Dynamics CR. So in Dynamics CRM, we have these four areas wherein product catalog is composed of it. First and the most important is your families, the products, that is your real time products. Then the price list, which includes the pricing of the products out in there. And then the associated discount list and the unit groups out in there. Now let me open my Excel. So let's think it from this perspective. Let's say you are willing so as to set up an organization with your product catalog. And that organization deals in electronics items. So that organization might be dealing in multiple horizons or multiple continents of the world which could be asia pacific apex region north america south america and much more now for sure you would be having different prices in different continents let's say in us you are selling it for 10 dollars whereas in india you would be selling for 100 rupees out in there and those products based upon the quantity and user would be buying in let's say i would be buying four television sets from your organization so definitely i might be eligible for some discounts out in there so that is all possible in dynamic crm then unit group plays the most important out in there what exactly happens is it helps you so as to define the units in which that product could be sold by your sales executive let's say you are selling televisions so a base unit for a television would be one set but someone if buying a box he would be getting four television sets and if someone would be buying a carrot it would be let's say 12 sets of your television so this is how each and everything is important in there so while configuring a product catalog in dynamic crm first and the most important thing we need to discuss or decide is what would be the units or the groups in which that particular item would be sold out and which comes in here that is unit groups here in an example of cold drinks has been taken includes like selling every bottle of cold drink then packing it as a six pack can or a 12 uh, pack of five each now once this unit group has been decided for the product what exactly happens is then we start defining the associated product or its families now what exactly is a difference between individually defining a product or a bundle or its family out in there so every product in an organization has multiple properties to it let's say this product would be 32 inch te television or it would be using a supply of 1.5 volt or it would be a like HD version of your television. So all those properties are there. Now what exactly happens is in an organization when you define a product family to it. Now whenever a new product would be added to that family. These properties would be carried over to that product by its own. And that gives an ease to your agents out in there who are selling the television in real scenario that is they would be able to see the properties of it and they would be able to decide whether the customer requirement is being met by that product or not basically it's a grouping of multiple products to together in the system and at times there is a concept of a bundle too what exactly is a bundle bundle is a way of associating multiple products altogether let's say 
along with a TV, you would be selling a set-top box or a connection to an internet service provider so that a group could be cheaper for the customer who is investing in the same. So what exactly you have done is, you have clubbed together the product along with another product and this bundle would be offered to the customer at a reasonable price which could be more appealing for your customer out in there. At times when you have seen like let's say you went for buying a 32 inch television at the same time the sales agent is able to check some suggestions out in the application and he would be able to see what substitute product they can sell it to you what accessories can be included along with that television so that it can enhance the experience of the business or it can enhance the experience of the customer who is investing in that particular product or the services out in there so this is all about the products the product catalog in there so we have to define these few things out in there that is first and the most important thing we have to define the group in which we are willing to sell that product then we associate the products we create the products in the application and then comes the importance of the price list now if you have seen what exactly we have done is we have created products out in there and we would be creating a price list altogether as a different record in the application and then we associate these products with this price list item with price list as a price list item wherein we define the price of that product out in there now there are multiple ways in this in which the price is calculated for a product and we would be exploring all that all together out in there now in dynamic crm at times what exactly happens is this price list item is integrated with some other application out in there usually we call them as e-log applications or some application wherein this pricing stuff takes care usually in dynamic crm while implementing there are different teams which are there in there a specific team would be responsible for deciding the products which the organization would be selling through their crm system there would be a different team which would be defining their prices for these products in different regions out in there now based upon the requirement what we do is we integrate a dynamic crm with this price calculation systems which keeps on pushing the records along with the product id and the price list name and the price list items are being created and updated in the application on a regular basis let's say on the upcoming month of december you would be willing so as to sell your televisions for a discount of 15 percent so this requirement can be met by multiple ways in dynamic crm one could be we could get create a price list very much specific to your christmas season so that and uh, so that agents would be adding that particular price list and the products associated with that particular price list will be visible will be visible with that updated cost in there other way could be we can increase the discount we can append the discounts in our discount list so that whenever the product would be added in the crm system along with it the associated discount would be applicable in there now we would be exploring all this in there practically along with me and let's move ahead for the practical implementation out in there so for this practical implementation usually we have different specific roles out in there i am logged in into my application as a system administrator or a system customization customizer so what you have to do is initially when you will log in into the application you need to select an app that is either you can select the sales hub app or you can open the advanced find directly out in there so if you open the advanced find you would be a, you would be able to see all this like product catalog in there and this particular tile will be opening for you in the system at times when this advanced settings like this is still deprecating so at times what exactly happens is organizations only give access to your sales hub app in sales hub app you simply need to go on this on your left and you have to select app settings the moment you will select the app settings what happens is there is a dedicated area for product catalogs in dynamic crm so there are two ways in which this product catalog can be maintained or can be implemented in dynamic crm 
वन इज योर प्रोडक्ट कैटलॉग आउट इन हेयर इन सेल्स हब और अदर गोइंग थ्रू द कन्वेंशनल वे इन विच वी गो टू द एडवांस सेटिंग एंड ओपन द प्रोडक्ट कैटलॉग सेक्शन विच इज अ डेडिकेटेड एरिया सो इज टू डेवलप डिफाइन एंड डिसाइड योर प्रोडक्ट आउट इन देयर now once you are in the sales hub area what exactly happens is you see a multiple settings out in there and these settings have been recently introduced by microsoft first and the most important setting is enabling enhanced experience for adding products in dynamic crm so usually what happens is so usually what happens is when your business would be using dynamic crm and they would be trying so as to attach the products to the opportunities they would be able to see an enhanced view that is they would be able to see more insightful information and i would be just presenting the same to you in a minute so you need to simply open an opportunity record out in there for this this particular setting which we have just seen it enhanced view and i am just trying to give you a demo of the same you need to go on the products in there you need to select the products and if you click on the add the products what exactly happens is you see an enhanced view which means like a pop up a model has been open for you you are able to see all this product information out in there you are able to see recently used products right in products and everything every information is available you can change the quantity you can change multiple information and this is possible only if you have enabled this particular setting that is making it easier for sellers to research and add products to the opportunities codes and orders along with the invoices out in there now at times this particular setting this has been recently introduced what exactly happens is in here if you can see at this moment of time we are able to see four columns or five columns out in there the first column is your product unit unit price and the quantity what if the business wants to add few more information out in there and through this you can simply modify that information you need to simply click on it it will open another view for you that is in your power apps and then you need to add certain columns whichever the business is requiring so that it can give you a more business specific requirement fulfillment in there at times business is needed multiple information like the calculation of the product or etc out in there and to me like that was always a challenge for it before this feature was introduced recently this feature has been introduced which gives us the ability to add more columns out in there see now this column is available if i wish to add new let's say we wish to add a description column out in there we can simply say description add a description in here save it publish it and the description would be visible to us along with these column in here and that is really helpful for businesses in real time scenarios out in there now this is few of the general settings out in there like how you want the products to behave so usually what happens is whenever we create a product it is created in a draft mode but do you want the product to be created directly in active state yes if we say it yes it would be selected as yes now for every environment we have a default price list so if you want that default price list to be allocated to the products simply allow it now this is system price how the price you want by the system to calculate whether it needs to be generated by the system logic or you want a custom logic to be implemented for that we have this do you want the price list to be optional on your opportunities or on your products while you are creating it yes we can enable this setting now how the discounts needs to be calculated whether it has to be calculated line per item or price per unit out in so these have been the configurations which have been recently exposed by microsoft earlier these were configurations were available but the thing was at times we need to write some console applications to meet up the expectations few of the configurations were available through the system admin panel in dynamic crm now as a business requirement at times we need to create these products product catalogs and everything out in there so let's start my discussion my next level of discussion with here so there are two ways so as to configure the thing the first could be you do it through your sales hub app or any of your model driven app through their app setting other ways going to your advanced settings panel selecting the business like product catalogs out in there and accessing this 
more or less exactly every configuration is same the data is stored in the same data verse on the same tables out in there only thing is this is still this has been the traditional way and this is the new way of doing the things so first and the important thing is implementing your unit groups so let's say we are willing to sell televisions so i would be creating an end to end business case scenario for selling of your televisions so let's say i simply say television and what would be my primary unit i am saying my primary unit would be one that is uh, a single box would be my primary unit so it would create my base primary unit for selling my televisions out in there now based upon our requirement we can add multiple unit groups to it that is to create a group let's say uh, i can sell it as a box a box will contain six units of television i can sell it as a bigger unit so i can define it like let's say a box which would include uh quantity would be 1 no quantity would be 2 and the base unit would be uh the primary unit would be my base unit so my primary base unit is this so one one base unit which is consist of two units of this base unit to make a box out in there i can simply save and close it and based upon the same scenario i can define multiple other units out in there so so as to in like uh, make it more easier for it i am simply mentioning it as is quantity as name as primary unit that is the lowest possible unit in which a television set can be sold out in there now my this product has been group has been created now the second step in here is defining the product itself in there because while creating a product or a family we need to have the basic unit in which this product can be sold out now this is my page on the top you can see multiple configurations out in there add a family add a product or add a bundle to it things remains exactly the same that is whether you add a family whether add you add a product or add a bundle only thing is the structure at the last if you can see in my column i have this particular structure would be changing for you so let's say i add a family out in there and i would be adding a family of led tvs led tv okay what would be the product id so usually this product id is generated from your inventory management system so that they can update take up an action on this product family using this id by when until when you want it to be valid so i say it would it was started in january and it would be valid till this particular financial year or till this year itself so i simply created the product family out in there now on the product family we have a liberty okay this product id already exists so let's say i add it as 10000 so i created this product family now this product family we would be adding multiple properties to it which would be carried forward to my associated products under it so my led tv is here i am in going in led tv and now you can see in here you have multiple properties out in there so i would be associating few of the properties so let's add, start adding few of the property the first property i am adding is led tv so size of the tv for sure so let's say size of the tv okay whether you want it to be read only yes i want do you want it to be required do you want it to be hidden it's all up to us now once we have created this property definitely we need to define its structure so what type of the values you want to see in this here so let's say i say it as an option set because a tv could be have multiple sizes let's say led tv could be available in multiple sizes which include 32 inch 64 inch 48 inch 60 inch 72 inch it depends upon us so we can simply define all those option set values out in here and i would be adding all those option sets now name 32 inch 
the value would be 32 48 inch then adding another property to it making it 60 inches at times we do create it through program so it becomes much easier but it's a one-time activity so i am doing it through my keyboard and entering all those values and then we want it to what would be the default property or unit which would be visible to me when i select a tv so i want it to be 32 inch for my business users save and close now the other thing which we need to decide could be other properties like let's say the voltage which would be needed for this operation of this tv or it could be the size of the cord or size let's say cord size which would be like the electronic size of cord okay it's a required property yes and i'm saving it no i need to decide the property i this time i would be selecting a single line of text because with every tv a cord size of two meters that is will be available so that while discussing with the customer or while adding the product to our associated opportunity the tv size or the properties our agent would be able to see so that they can talk with more confidence out in there now at times what happens is we usually create a unit group so let's say we associate what would be the unit group television what would be the default unit that is we have decided so it would be its primary unit if you want to associate it default price list you may but we have not created it yet and what would be the decimal supported so i am saying two decimals supported to this particular product so now my family along with its properties have been created now the second step out in there is to create associated products the products which would be underlined in this family which to which these all properties would be carried forward now there are two things usually when we we have to publish then only this product would be visible to us but what i personally do is we pers i personally create first all the associated products its families and everything and then only i publish it but for this video we can do it both the way so you have to publish the product then only it would be visible to the users or your customer executives while they would be adding this uh, products on the opportunities now let's move ahead with adding a product so i am adding a product to it and that product could be we have led tv so let's say uh, we we deal in multiple tvs let's say uh, 32 inch led tv and it belongs to the family so i would be adding a number who would what be the parent parent would be my television led tv so valid to and valid from would be associated directly what would be the default uh, unit in which you want television default unit would be your primary unit support decimal is two the moment i would attach see in here product properties is blank the moment we will save it it will auto populate all the product properties see the properties have been taken from the family itself now along with it if you wish to add additional properties let's say there are multiple things which you would wish to and i would be presenting them all to you so at times let's say i add another product and that would give you some more clarity out in there so i would be going back to my main channel and i would be adding a new product out in there not family sorry it would be a product i cancel that and i'm adding a product and let's say 32 inch second tv i'm just selecting it so as uh, to present you a uh, overview 4 
and the family remains the same that it's television led tv validity would be taken from your family itself and if we would have selected the unit groups default unit would be my primary unit and decimal supported is 2 and the moment we save it product uh, properties as usual would be auto populated and now let's go towards the additional properties out in there now over here you see current cost standard cost and the list price and you see a price list item relationship if you want to sell a substitute at a relationship so at times what exactly happens is to which product you want it to associated let's say 32 inch LED TV and how you want to represent it like whether when the person would be when your sales executive would be seeing adding this product if they want to see upsell product as a cross sell product as an accessory or a substitute so that it adds more value to your business let's say a customer walked in he wants a 32 inch LED TV but that TV is not available in your organization at that moment of time or your inventory is not available. So the customer executive can select what he can sell it as a substitute to your, can recommend a substitute to your organizational, the person who is visiting it or what he can cross sell it or, or what accessories he can sell along with your TV. So I am selling it as upsell product and the direction is whether like when he selects 32 inch tv whether he should have an option of 32 inch second tv so i am saying buy direction save and close so i saved and closed it now it's getting saved now if you go towards my present like my pdf so we what we have done is we have created the unit group we have created the product group now the third and the most important aspect which we need to create is the price list so let's move ahead with creation of a price list in there so price list is nothing it's simply a way of grouping the products based upon their prices based upon the regions let's say i am willing to sell this product in two regions one is india and another is cus so i would be creating two price list out in here uh, united states start date by when you want this price list to be applicable to your business and till when so i selected as this now once the price list has been decided now what are all the price list items you want to associate to it that is what are all the products you want to sell to through whenever a business selects your uh, like uh, united states as the price list now that has two implementations one implementation is let's say you are selling different models of tv in different geographic geographies of the world now based upon the unit price list they would be able to decide and define like the sales executive selects united states so he would be only able to see the televisions which are available for sale in united states of america if he selects another price list only those associated products would be visible to him now let's add a price list item to it that is now what are all the products which should be visible under this particular price list now i am selecting the tvs 32 see inch led tv what would be the primary unit is my base unit okay i clicked in there that's the reason we got migrated towards that record so let's select 32 inch LED TV. So I have selected my 32 inch and the unit has been associated to it. Now pricing information. Now how you want to sell this price? See, we have different ways in which the pricing could be decided. If you can recall on my product, I have shown you multiple ways like marked price, listed price, cost price. So if you want it to be sold on a currency rate, you can define it. If you want percent of a list price so whatever the list so now on the pricing information we have different pricing methods which are, are available few of them are currency amount which means whatever the amount i would be deciding in the pricing information would be applicable the another one is if you can recall 
like on the product we have three attributes of in their current list price and the mark price so if we want it to be calculated on the basis of this then we we can simply say mar, uh, percent markup minus my current cost or currency amount usually when i am working with the businesses i select currency amount because we have i've been working with the businesses in which this price product price list has been integrated with some other application so what exactly happens is they keep on pushing the product price list from there in itself let's say i decided for hundred dollars and i simply save it so what exactly happens is whenever my business user would be associating united states price list it would be showing him them 32 inch led tv and the amount would got pre-populated as hundred dollars out in there now it's a general question which i usually come across that are we allowed so as to associate multiple products under the price list yes you can are we allowed so as to associate same product under price list under different price list yes that's how the functionality works in so let's say we associate the other tv uh, tv in here that is a 32 inch led second tv so i associate it the information gets pre-populated now i define the pricing information let's say 120 dollars for it and i save it now what if i create a now what if I create another price list that is price list India and I want to show my current price list out in there. Yes, I can associate my another TV on the same price list out in there. Let's see. Let's try creating it. India price list. The start date, I am setting it as same, that is from 1st of March till 31st of March. Usually we have different types, different layouts based upon which we define it. So let's save it and now we would be associating again the products to this price list item. So I am adding the price list items. So I would be associating the 32 inch second TV. The primary unit gets controlled in here. And I am selecting the price as $150. So this is how this product catalog works in here. Over here we haven't associated the discount list. Yes, we can create the discount list along with these products out in there. Wherein we define the discounts which would be applicable on the products if they are getting more than a single unit. So let's try doing that again in here also. So I just selected it. And I say, I'm saying it create a new discount list. Only thing is we need to log in again and we need to define it. So television discount list. And I want it to be an amount instead of percentage. At times, let's say if you select it as percentage, let's say someone buys in 10 TV, I would want I want him to give in as 10% of discount. Instead of that, I am simply saying I would be deciding the amount and what would be the discounts applicable. So new discount. So I need to tell it like what would be the what would be the begin quantity? Begin would be one, five, and how much discount it would be hundred dollars. If someone buys a TV uh, from 5 to 10, let's say not 1 to 10, but 5 to 10, then they would get a flat discount of $100. Now, but we have to associate this discount list to our product, then only the system will be able to identify that they have to apply that particular discount for that particular product out in there. So I would be switching back to my families and the products out in there to associate my discount list along with my product. So I'm back in my products and I'm selecting my 32 inch LED TV. This could be done even at the level of the family. So in here we would be having a discount list which are associated discount list to this particular product. Probably in additional details I would be able to see it. So the discount list has to be associated on the level of your price list item out in there and I would be able to pull out all those discount lists. So television discount list, I simply saved and closed. 
it depends upon you whether you want to associate this discount list with every product in your price list or only on a specific set of products out in there. Now let's move ahead and see how the user experience would be when they would start using this product catalog which you have designed in. So first and the most important thing is product catalog is applicable for your opportunities, orders, invoice and quotes out in there. So let's say I'm on opportunity out in there. I'm first, I'm, I'm, I would be creating a blank opportunity to give you a real time exposure and scenario out in there. So the sales user would be coming in here. They would be clicking on plus new. They would be creating an opportunity record. Let's say they are willing to sell the televisions to the customers out in there. So I'm selecting a, let's say television. I'm just marking it as and let's say it is being sold to an account. The account name would populate in here. let's say edit and corporation. I simply save it. So usually what happens is this is auto created by qualification of a lead at times this opportunity is even being pushed towards to dynamic CRM through other integration application. Now I select the product out in there. The product will help me so as to do multiple things out in here. The user first the sales user has to select the associated price list out in there. That is products from which price list they want to load in the application. Let's say application is being operated by someone who is based out in US so they can select a price list which is very much specific to US. If they want to see the products from India, they can say it from India even. So let's say unit price, United States of America. Now when I say add products, you would see all the products which are associated to this particular price list would start popping up into our application. Okay, we are getting this thing that is no product available and the reason for the same is that is we have created the products and the families but we have not published it we have not activated the same so let's first activate the same in the application see it's still in draft stage so i'm going to activate the same market and simply say publish so that all the it, it would be visible to your opportunities and the associated records and sales users can save the same So since now the product status has been activated, let's go back to our opportunity record. Let's close it so that it gets refreshed, add products. And now once the grid would be loading for us, it would be showing us all the associated products to that particular price list out in there. See, both the things are visible in here. We can define the quality, let's say $120, $130. It's all visible to us. We can define the quantities. Even. Let's say I want to eight of these and seven of these i simply say add add and save opportunity now these products in this quantity would be associated to your opportunity out in there and it would take a refresh see a refresh and the product and the costing has been calculated now in here we have revenues, how you want the revenue to be generated. You want this revenue field to be calculated by the system or you want user to input the same. So if you say user provided you or you want system calculated, the moment you say system calculated out in here, it will auto populate the estimated revenues out in here. See, And let's say save this information. Now I would like to present you with the upsell the accessories and other information out in there and now if you would calculate you could see the discount list has also been applicable so what exactly happened is if you see without the discount it would be discount has been already applied to this product see 800 dollars for this wherein for this it should have been more but if over here we are seeing some lesser price out in there because of the discount associated discount list out there. Now, if you click on this arrow, you would be able to see other information associated to this product. If there would have been another data, if you want to see the properties of the product, you can see the properties also. And in here, if you see, click on suggestions out in there, it would open another pop-up in here, which shows what are 
the cross sell products with what are the upsell products available for this particular product in there and the customer executive can select this and perform the action so that this particular product would be replaced or upsold by 32 inch led tv instead of this tv now another question i usually get from the users that what if this particular customer is also interested in buying an air conditioner so yes you can change the price list out in there the business would be able to change the conditioner now he would be able to add the air conditioner costs and then they would be allowed so as to add the products from air conditioning unit since my product has been selected see add product now they can the products which would be loaded would be from your air conditioner price unit out in there so on a same opportunity you can add products from different different price list out in there and now it's all about your training about your organizational structure how you want to group the products in a product catalog it depends entirely upon your team entirely upon your organization and more about the trainings which you would be undertaking in your organization let's say i want to sell this bundle to my customer that is room ac plus stabilizer i simply save it save the opportunity so it would be added as a bundle and my customer would be getting associated discount associated to this particular product out in there now if you want to offer them some percentage discounts like let's say discount percent or discount you can add a discount on top of this all if you select see in here the symbol itself shows it that it's a bundle and this bundle if you click on it it shows us the information like it's it includes two things room ac and a stabilizer dynamic crm also supports grouping of the products based upon different scenarios that is if you want it to be name currency product name properties units a lot more than expected so that was all about product catalog in dynamic crm that is first and the most important thing is you have to create a discount list then you have to define the unit group of that product then you have to create the product itself then we have to define the price list and once the define the price list then we have to associate them all together so that it can be used on your different scenarios out in there now i would like to thank you all for your immense response on my youtube channel on my youtube videos and your comments really appreciates me your really motivates me to do more and implement more and explore more and share more with you all thank you and have a great day and thanks for all your nice comments